So after doing our maintenance routine, we've got the pipes all nice and dry so we can actually store them away. Uh, it's now important that we actually store them in the correct manner. Um, so it goes without saying that you're going to need to have a good pipe case. This is a pipe case that we offer called the Piper case, which has got semi-rigid size, but again, it provides a lot of protection for the pipes. Um, so again, nice soft padded sides as well, so we're not going to damage the wood on the pipes. So again, it's just a matter of uh, putting the pipes in, making sure they're securely in position. So for this, we just need to dismantle the base drum so they actually fit in the case. And uh, we've got some Velcro straps, which is a nice feature on this case. So this is just going to make sure that we've got the pipes securely in there. So when we're transporting them about, they're not going to move about and get chip mines or have any damage done to the wood. Um, so again, this case is going to provide good protection for moving and transporting the pipes about the place. There's not going to be any movement there. This particular set has, so this particular case has some backpack straps here, which we can use for transporting the pipes around. Um, so one of the, the key aspects of storing the pipes is that you want to keep them in a cool, dry environment. So you don't want you know, to keep them in a room that you know there's a lot of sunlight coming in, it's extremely hot, or a room that's known to be cold, like you know, the, if you're living somewhere like you know, Canada where it can be extremely cold. You don't want to leave your pipes in the bit of a car where it can go to minus 20, for example, because the pipes made from African blackwood and natural material is going to expand and contract with hot and cold climates. So, and, and dry and damp climates as well. So just always try and consider where you're going to keep your pipes. Is it a nice, comfortable room temperature? And that will ensure that, you're, you, again, you just get the longe longevity out of the pipes and you're not putting extreme conditions on the wood.